Okay, we're going to do some trick here on Mrs. Smith here in room 205. Um, on my way there, I'm going to make sure I gather all my supplies. So what I'm going to need is um, a trach mask. I need a trach care kit. I need a sterile suctioning kit. I'm going to make sure I need any PPE, some um, probably a face mask because it can splatter back out at me. Um, also some syringes and um, a resuscitation bag just in case. Um, something doesn't go right while we're cleaning it and she needs to be resuscitated, manually resuscitated. So I'll go ahead and enter the room. Knock, knock. Hi, Mrs. Smith. My name's Kate. I'm from the rest respiratory department here at the hospital. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do some trach care and clean your trach site up a little bit, okay? All right, great. I always want to make sure I communicate with the nurses too. This needs to be done at least twice a day. So I'll go ahead, wash my hands, put on some gloves, and do my initial assessment. I'm going to check the patient's uh, respirations. I'm also going to check um, her SpO2 saturations. I'm going to um, check that cuff pressure to make sure it's in between 20 and 30 centimeters of each tooth bone. And then I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first part of tray care is a sterile procedure. It's a sterile suctioning. So I'll make sure that I do have suction set up before I start that sterile procedure. Um, get my trach mask so I can hyperoxygenate the patient. And then I'll go ahead and get that suctioning kit. I'm going to set the suction from negative 120 to negative 150 in between that range. Um, and we'll go ahead and hyperoxygenate Mrs. Smith. So while we're doing that, I'll go ahead and put on a sterile, using sterile technique, put on my second set of gloves. My left hand will be my clean hand. My right hand will be my um, sterile hand. I'll put the on my right hand here so I have it when I'm like cleaning it and I can hold my suction catheter. Hook it up to the wall mount and then we'll go ahead and suction this. Make sure we have lube on the tube here. And we'll go ahead and insert. Feel a little resistance, pull back a little bit, and then I'll go ahead and include the thumb port and suction her now. So you can go ahead and move it out there. Now we can go ahead and actually do this. So this is the aseptic te technique. We'll go ahead and first see if she needs to be oxygenated. Meanwhile, I'm looking at her vitals while I'm doing this, making sure she's her breathing's good and saturation is always good. We'll go ahead and lay this out and we'll clean you up here, Mrs. Smith, okay? Are you comfortable? Good. All right, open up my um, care kit here. We're going to go ahead and take this inner cannula out. I'm going to hold down that flange to make sure I don't pull out the whole trach and the inner cannula here, if it's disposable, I could go ahead and get rid of it. If not, um, in my trach care kit, we do have some buckets. We have a couple of buckets here, so we can go ahead and clean it out with um, saline here. Let it air dry, put it in a safe spot so it doesn't go on the floor or anything like that. Then we're going to go ahead and we have some Q-tips and some more um, saline. I'll go ahead and untie the trach. I'm going to always make sure I have a hand on it though so it stays in place. I'll take out this gauze. There's a new gauze in there. And we'll get our first Q-tip. We want to make sure that we're starting from the inner part and rotating outward while we're cleaning, tossing as with each swipe. So inner to the out, toss. We'll do the other side, inner, out toss in to out. We'll um, look and inspect the uh, um, stoma site and make sure that there's no pus, irritation, um, discharge, things like that, anything abnormal. Um, and we'll make sure to document and let the nurse know. Um, we can go ahead now and put new gauze on. Make sure that's secure and dry. Any drainage, I'll go ahead and tie. Um, a new um, secure neck <laughs> thing on her, on her trach here. And then we'll go ahead and monitor her cuff pressure and um, make sure we have the new 
intercannula in. We always make sure we have spare intercannulas um, in the room of trach patients, one a size smaller and one size bigger, just in case there's any change in the anatomy, if there's any swelling or um, some compromise of the airway there. So we have it handy and ready to go. Um, Next thing we'll do is make sure that Mrs. Smith is nice and comfortable. We can go ahead and get rid of our supplies here. Um, sit her upright, let her have um, or give her her call light, make sure she doesn't need anything, and we'll go ahead and let the nurse know that we did the tree care and document.